what's going on. So I want to do a video about what the kingdom of heaven really means. <laughs> and I'm sure you've heard about this before, more so religiously, because that's pretty much the only time I've really heard it. I have seen it on billboards for sure. And billboards, if you don't know, or like signs, basically signs throughout the town or certain towns. I'll see, I'll see that. And they'll be like the kingdom of heaven. Well, it could be said in multiple ways, but ultimately the kingdom of heaven is inside yourself. <laughs> it can be outside yourself too. In fact, it's both. But it happens from within, basically. <laughs> so when all these are like religious texts, when we're talking about, doesn't matter what religion, uh, when they talk about, you know, embodying from the inside or see when they especially christianity they seem to make things whatever some some people i've heard someone say water down but it's not necessarily it, it could be that way it make it more complex than it really is and it's just not saying like hey it's inside of you <laughs> Like it, it's, it's these, you know, almost like snake-like type of ways, you could say, very decisive and not getting you like straight to the point. Maybe there's a real purpose behind it, whether it's, you know, to confuse you, to give you a half truth or just to do something else that they want to bring out basically. But in that case, the kingdom of heaven would be inside of you, which is basically God. You know, it goes back to the kingdom of heaven, whatever you want to say, call it. Again, that would just be like stillness in God. If you want to talk about God, since we're on this type of wording or subject, it'd be right inside of you. And it's inside of everything. And I'm going to break it down in a second. Because it has to be. <laughs> Paradoxically, like if you really think about things, all things come from one thing because they have to <laughs> that's just like how how it is but you build from scratch but like everything comes from scratch and the kingdom of heaven is inside of you which is basically life life force soul spirit but your spirit is not it is individualized at the time but when you the whole goal of life is basically what I've come to understand and why we're here. And to me, it does make sense, but it's not necessarily something to think about why we come here, why we're living this life, because we fell, we are all part of God at one time and we fell. This is where we get the fallen angels, the fallen angels, whether it was a different species, doesn't matter because we fell from God. We fell outside of God, which is becoming, we wanted to make our own world just like God. And eventually we got denser and denser and we became into 3D, this reality, the meat suit that people say, I don't really like that word, but we came into these dense physical things, which are basically their manifestations from, from something and which you could say God, God is, you know, going to be the word today. And so technically the kingdom of heaven is also in the, also the physical, physical objects too. And all life is in everything. So it always will be that. And once you see that, you know, 
some call that realization. It's not something that you see necessarily physically. <laughs> it's more so of a insight, you could say. So even if you think about it, or if you want it, if you, because all the answers will always come back to this, uh, that all knowing. Because once you abide in that stillness, which is another thing for God, or you could say the kingdom of heaven inside of you, because we, we were falling angels, we were at this perfect state of homeostasis, and we fell from that, which is basically like almighty spirit. And we were just there. And we wanted to create, we, we somehow separated from God for, for our will to create. And that's how we got here because we kept veering off. Cause if you notice in life, if that doesn't, if it doesn't ring a bell to you, if you notice in life, the, the, you, if you ever get into this meditation or this presence or find the God within yourself, which is basically when it comes down to it, you know, you could also realize one of the ways would be like realizing you're not your thoughts. Then another way, which is the almighty way would basically be no thoughts. Once you establish that connection, you'll keep, you'll keep abiding in it more. That's just how it is. It's almost like a seed and it grows. And apparently there's also things that help you abide in it, basically. That's why there's so many different things to do. <laughs> but there's specific things to like conservations and techniques, you know, that get you there. So yeah, and I'm not gonna get into those in this video. Places, places usually. And, but at the, at the same time, I wanna say that for a different video. <laughs> but there has to be whatever created us or however we came to be, if you don't like that term, whatever created us, that power, the energy had to come from something. So it is instilled in us. We are in part of us. The thinking mind or our mind is just to, to articulate things and think of things basically. But our mind can basically be used against us. And that's why if you really look at the world and see how the things happen, especially currently right now, you'll see there's a word they call egotistical and it's all about me and it's selfishness. Me, me, me. That's how the ego thinks. And, and the ego is also judgmental. It can be a lot of things. <laughs> it can be like uh, egotistical. It could be very prideful. And I don't want to make this video too long. And I didn't think it was going to be that long at all. But this is just like the gist of it. And this is what it means. We, we are, we, we are trying to realize because, because people haven't been there yet. Meditation is the word I like to use, but I don't use it on the terms as a lot of people use it basically, which is abiding in the stillness. Because once you get in the stillness, a uh, stillness, stillness, it's a, uh, it's empowering. There's not, there's no words to describe it, of course, but some call it love, some call it God, some call it Jesus Christ, some call it consciousness. And you know, there's a bunch of religions, bunch of words for this. Like I said, again, the kingdom of heaven, it's call it heaven, all these words, but once you imbibe in this, there's a feeling that's exerted, exerted, um, and you'll feel it. It's a sensation. It's called being alive, <laughs> which a lot of people don't feel it because you can just tell because 
No, and it's not like that, but if you feel alive, you feel like energetic, bouncy, vibrant. It's just, it's our natural state. It, but it's so clean and natural that it's very calming at the same time. Almost relaxing. There's different words for it. Like love, love people say, joy, bliss. There's different words which you want to call it. I mean... <clears throat> bliss might be more than joy, but it's uh, it's just a feeling of feeling like and ways one way a quick way would be to do it would be listen to your heartbeat without no discrimination listen to birds without discrepancy without without trying to identify what type of bird this is, how you feel. Oh, I thought about this. Just actually listening, feeling. And then you would just be there. <laughs> okay, that's all for the video. We're trying to come out with more, but been really busy <laughs> with music and stuff.